important is a piece like this in today's society? <laughs> well, I think I mean, there's, there's many answers to this. I mean, the first, the first and most obvious one is it's very important. It's very important to remind uh, remind this generation what fascism really looks like if you allow it in. And you know, fascism comes from democracies. It starts in democracies, and um, totalitarianism can flip on you very, very quickly. So you know, we we can never be not vigilant about losing our freedoms and our liberties and our, attitude, our progressive attitudes because the moment you let go of them you let an extremism of one country or another and the history teaches us that it can happen you know in a year in less than a year I mean Adolf Hitler was elected um, in a, as a minority government leader and um, within two years he turned Germany into the fascist dictatorship we all know about from history but it came out of a democracy we have to be very careful. What interests you about continuing? Obviously, you know, the book has finished. You've already done your second season, post novel. Mm -hmm. Now, moving into your third season, post novel, what it what interests you the most about moving forward into season three? Well, first, I would say it isn't the PKD material isn't quite finished. Um, in season three, uh, we have material from a sequel that my dad was writing that he never finished. And there's a big idea, big sci-fi idea in it, that's been implemented in the show. Um, so I'm really excited about that. So there is, you know, this material. But broadly, you know, we just, the journey with these characters um, and the characters that we love, hopefully people have invested in, um, it's so interesting to see how they each deal with the world around them. Um, I, I also think it's so important now, more than ever, to really look at what resistance means and what acts of resistance in various forms take. Uh, so it's a real opportunity, I think, um, to, you know, to really delve into that um, with our characters. So uh, I think there are all sorts of reasons <laughs> to continue this, particularly now. <coughs> So look for the big idea. It's a relief. <laughs> it's, it's wonderful to finally it be great. able to promote it. You know, we're so excited about it. It's it's yeah. such a strong season and the the character drama is is richer. Um, there are a lot of twists and turns. It's propulsive. It's just a, such a. But we have a new showrunner, and we had a lot of effects um, that need to be done. And Amazon gave us the time we needed to get it right, and so we so appreciate that. Oh, and plus with the addition of Jason's character too. That yes. That's yes. Give a whole new layer to, yes. To a different, almost dimension, so to speak. Yeah. A different way to shift a little bit right. of the story. Right. Right. So, you know, better to get it right than rush it, and we just needed some extra time. But, but yeah, it feels like we were promoting this at Comic-Con, New York Comic-Con, 10 months ago. That's October, yeah. And it just, it feels like such a long time. We haven't stopped working. <laughs> yeah, we haven't. We just, we we, just, we, we've been rolling one to the next, but it's just taken us a while to get it all done. Yeah. Um, it's a lot more CGI this season as well, which hopefully is invisible to you, but it's there. Well, period pieces usually also take a lot of yeah, time too, because you have to be so authentic with particular <coughs> uh, times and places and uh, things that may not exist anymore. You have to right. or never existed. Exactly. It's that's always, the that's the yeah, challenge. Yeah. Do you think that your father um, would have? I mean, this is almost very predictive about the current political situation, obviously that we're in right now. Uh, but it's, <laughs> it's a little scary. It's, to speak. it's very scary. And you know, a lot of the, a lot of the fiction books are now becoming almost reality. Do you think that that was ever intentional for him? Or? Well, I don't think he saw into the future, but I think he feared um, certain tendencies, human tendencies that he saw, which have repeated themselves. And so that that was for him always infused into his work, which is why it feels like 
we're in a PKD novel right now. I mean, literally every day feels more and more like it. And I, my dad would be apoplectic, I think, based on what's going on um, now. So it, it is strange that way. And unfortunately, it's sad. You know, we shouldn't be here, but... What are you most excited for fans to see in season three? What's that one old thing that you're like, I can't wait until... But we can't tell you a lot of those yeah, things. Yeah, we're not allowed to. Uh, well, Issa alluded to it. You know, there's, there's this big idea that comes from um, PKD's unpublished work, which is a very, very bold and big sci-fi idea that was always there and always inherent in the story, but we, we, we hadn't got a chance to do it until we got a certain way into the story. So that's... <laughs> we can't describe to you what it is, except that the Nazis are trying to break their way into the multiverse. And you can imagine what that threat is. <laughs> We talked earlier about challenges. What are some other challenges of bringing a book like this with such, such heavy materials and such ideas to audiences throughout the world? What are your biggest challenges? Well, I, mean, I think for me in particular and for the writers, I think it's been um, being authentic to the world whilst being creatively free. You know, you're, we can't just create any version of Nazism or any version of Imperial Japanese totalitarianism. We have to, we have to create a version that is plausible and real. And you know, we're creating characters like Adolf Hitler or Himmler and you know, people who really existed. And that comes with a huge burden of responsibility. It's a very fine line you walk. Um, and that's always something that keeps me awake at night. You know, are we saying the right things? Are we pushing this too far? Are we being too much of a caricature? Are we honoring all the people who suffered? This will be our last question. At the end of last season, you saw Mr. Tagomi really realizing that he has a deeper connection with Juliana Lane than he realized. Will we see that come to fruition a little bit more? Yes. That is one thing we can yes. tell you, yes. Yes, you absolutely will. You see. <laughs> and how all, you know, Juliana, that Abinson tells her at the end of season two that in all the films she is the one constant and all these other characters keep appearing around her. And how and why those characters keep appearing around her will be begin to become answered in season three. Please watch. Thank you.